Hey guys, let us discuss about the nine new array methods that were introduced as part of ES6 update. The first one is array dot find. The array dot find method helps us to search or find a value in an array that meets given criteria or a condition. Here we have an array of employees JSON data, and here I would like to find an employee whose ID is equal to three. And for that, I can use the employees dot find method. This find method will take the callback function. I am going to write it as a arrow function. And this callback function will receive the employee on each iteration. So, employee. And here we have to pass our condition. So, employee dot id equal to equal to three. And it will return the employee object as soon as it finds it. So, let us save it. Let's print result. There you go. Here we got the employee whose ID is three. The callback function that we provided to find method will apply against to each element of an array, and whenever it finds the value that meets the given criteria or a condition, then it will return it and stop the search. And here in this case. The find method will search for employee whose ID is equal to three, and as soon as it finds the employee whose ID equal to three, then it will return the element and stop the search. Let us use the another scenario, and just take this as is. I say result two, and here instead of ID, let us use grade, and whose grade equal to A. Print it result two, save it. And here this time you can see that we got grade A and ID one. Here we have the two employees whose grade is A. But as soon as it finds the employee that having the grade A, then it will return this element and it will stop the search. And that's why you can always see only one result, even though we have the two elements here. But if you'd like to get the all the employees whose grade is A, then you need to use the method called filter that we discussed in our previous session. The next method is find index. The find index method of an array works same as find method, but instead of returning an element, it just returns the position of an element. So in other words, it just returns the index of a value. Employees dot find index and it takes the callback function again and there you can provide employee and employee dot let's say grade equal to equal to b employee john having the grade b and the position of the john is 1 let's print it let index Console dot log index. Save it, and we can see that we got the index one. And this is very useful when you would like to get a position of an element and do the changes accordingly. And the next method is array dot fill. Let's say you have an array called marks, and you have the values like sixty, seventy, eighty, and you want to replace all the values of an array with the single value, then you can use the fill method, like marks dot fill. And let's say hundred. Save it and just print marks. All the values of the marks are replaced by the value hundred. Array dot fill method is having the another option to fill the value or replace the value by using the index. So marks dot fill. And here I am going to say hundred. And this time I am going to specify the starting number and ending number also you can provide. And I'm going to specify the starting number, so let's say two. So it should replace the eighty. Comment this out. Console dot log marks, and there you go. Now we got sixty, seventy, and instead of eighty, hundred because we have provided the index two. This is very useful when you would like to replace or fill the element of an array by using the index. And the next method we are going to see array dot from. Here we have a array of employees. I would like to double the salary of each employee and save the results in a brand new array. And for that, we can simply use array dot from, array dot from, and as a first object we can pass the iterable. So here employees is the iterable, 
and as a second object you can pass the map function you can see here and here you can pass the error function with condition so it takes employee again and then here I'm going to say employee dot salary multiply by 2 and let us save this result into a new array let employee upgraded equal to employee dot from and let us print it console dot log save it there you go and you can see here 20,000, 40,000, 48,000 and 10,000 so we just double the salary of each employee and we just saved the result into new array this looks almost using same as map function now let us discuss about the other scenario where we can use the array.from method remember in last session we discussed about adding the bonus to the salary using the filter and map method and now let us do the same thing using the array.from method array.from and it takes the iterable so employees and then a function so I'm going to say function and just define that and here we can pass the object with bonus property so here we can say bonus and value is a thousand and in this callback function we are going to add the bonus to the salary so this so this function will going to receive employee object employee dot salary plus equal to this dot bonus and we need to return this one return and let us assign this result to a variable let employee with bonus and let us print it console dot log employee with bonus comment out this console so there you go we got the employees with bonus so 11,000, 21,000, 25 and 6,000 array.copy within function it is an interesting addition to the array function library in ES6 as it names wise wise it is copies the data from one location to another location within an array now let us see how it works prices dot copy within and he takes the three arguments target index start index and end index let's pass the target index to target index is the something where data will be copied to and starting index is the something from where data will be copied from just print it console.log and there you go so here what it will do it will start copy the data from the index 1 here you can see that start index is 1 so from here it will just copy the data and it start pasting the data from the index 2 let's see how copy within works when you pass the target and start index so let us take this entire array and here you can observe that the length of the array will not change before and even after the copy within function so length of the array is 8 the copy within function you just start the copying the values from the starting index here starting index is 1 so from here just start copying it and it start replacing or overwrite the values from the target index here the target index is 2 so from here it start overwrite the values now you can see that length of the array is more than the 8 so you just remove the extra value here 2000 now let us see how it works when you pass the n index so just pass the n index let's say 3 just print it console.log prices and here you go now you can see the result 500 600 and it what it will do it will start copying the data from the zero index till the third index so 500 600 and 700 and then it start replacing the data from the second index so it will be like this take this entire array here and it start copying the data from 500 600 and 700 and it start replacing the data from the 700 800 and 900 and then the result will be like this and let's say you just pass the 2 and save it now just take this entire array and again just place here you just copy the data between the 0th index to 2nd index so 500 and 600 replacing the data from the 2nd index and then you can see the result same as output and let's say if you just change the 
index here 1 and let's see how it works so when you change the index 1 here now it's starting copying from the 600 to 700 so we just copy the 600 and leaving the n index value just take this again here and it just copy only 600 now and it replaces the 700 value with 600 and you can see the result now let us discuss about the another method array.of so usually whenever you create a new array like let's say let array equal to new array and if you pass some value like 2 and just print it console.log so when you create an array like this and you can see that it is empty array and if you just try to get the value at index 0 so error of 0 and you can see you get the value undefined but let us create an array using array.of so let error1 equal to array.of and now let us pass that to and just print console.log error1 save it and this time you can see that array with value 2 and now length is 1 and instead of creating the two elements here now he just created the array with the value that we passed and here you can pass any numbers depends on how many numbers you pass to the array.of method it just determines the length of the array so here we passed almost six elements so you can see that array length is six and you can see that it just created the array with the values that we passed and this is very useful when you would like to create the array from the data now let us see another useful function that is array.entries so here we have employees array so employees dot entries just console log it you can see that it returns the array iterator and if you just use array.entries dot next it just returns the values with the done false and you can see the value array and where we have the index of the element here the index of the array or element is 0 and then value of the object using the spread operator you can get the index and value as the key value pair so just use it like this console.log employees dot entries and remove this next here and just use the spread operator now we can see that values 0 and name Krish and the same way at the second object you can see John and third object you can see Smith using for of and entries function you can get the index and value of each entry so like this for for constant and here we are going to get array so index comma value of we are going to use employees dot entries and here you can just display index and value so console dot log and let us use the back ticks index index and value and here you can see that index 0 and value is object you can see four times now let us discuss about another important method that is array dot keys using it we can get the all keys of an array so console dot log employees dot keys and here you can see that we got the array iterator again so you can use the spread operator and you can see the values 0 1 2 3 so we have the four values that's why you can see that four indexes and the same way you can use the array dot values function too so using the array dot function you can just say instead of keys you can just say values and you get the all the values of an array so this is about nine new array methods of an array that were introduced in es 6 if you have any doubts please leave a comment thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon